You're this perp back with another video and man we have a lot to talk about in this episode i gotta say this is my favorite episode so far it's it goes this it goes that deep man it goes that deep but before i get into this review hit that like button hit that sub button if you're new and this is your first time finding me on the youtube you know i'm definitely going to do more season nine or america horror story 1984 reviews and follow me on twitter at perp minded so with all that said let's get right into this video man because like i said we have a lot to talk about a lot of reveals a lot of secrets a lot of just betrayals so it starts off you know where the last episode left off where we had two different groups you know trapped in different areas of the camp and you know brooke and their group were stuck uh with the night stalker and you see ray getting really cocky and we got a lot of ray in this episode and i'll get to that very shortly as we go progress through this review so on the other side of things you know with montana trevor and you know xavier they think it's mr jingles and ends up being people just dressed up like mr jingles which really fascinates me now because there's so many different themes of just serial killers and just glorifying serial killers and we do that in real life and you know it's it really is deep to me with this whole scene and and they explain that they do this every year you know as an anniversary thing and you know montana goes off on them but very shortly mr jingles finds them and mercs them and i gotta give it to mr jingles because i take back take back everything i said in the first episode that i didn't like his name this dude straight up will kill a motherfucker right in front of like multiple people he just mercs these people and you know montana and everybody else is able to get away and run away and it's just so fascinating just the backstory on mr jangles that we get throughout this episode so mr jangles runs into another one of these you know masked jangle wannabes and stuff uh and he lets him go which i find really fascinating so he doesn't just really kill random people he only kills certain people we get more in depth with that while chat's in a uh, ditch somewhere almost half dead i'll get back to that um but then we have rita i put i use air quotes drugging brooke and this was really interesting to me because i i had something like there was really a lot of suspect characters throughout this uh these three episodes you know you got margaret you got this nurse that came out of nowhere there was definitely something up about her but that's pretty crazy that she kind of flipped on brooke right there and pretty much drugged her then it jumps to a flashback to a week ago where we see the psychiatrist and she's meeting with the psychiatrist and she's just fascinated by serial killers and she feels like it has a connection with uh it has a connection to do with like porn and just being you know um you know pretty much desensitized to everything and this is what's creating serial killers which she does have a point and this is why i find this so fascinating that you know she's willing to help break him out to do an experiment for science and it's it's crazy you have the religious side of the th uh, of this thing with margaret then you got this chick with the science and it's just it's really fascinating we get a lot more backstory a little bit more backstory on who this character was um the imposter miss rita uh nurse rita i should say and you see how she was really infatuated by mr jangles and his work and you know she's kind of obsessed i would say and 
people were expecting margaret to be the one that's obsessed but you know who who saw it being the nurse so we find out who the real nurse Rita was the one that's supposed to go to the camp redwood and you know she's this blonde haired chick really attractive like gets caught lacking and you never expect this and i don't think she even expected this uh you know she it just cuts to black and you think oh rita must have just killed her but i'll get back to that shortly so this rita imposter is dragging brooke somewhere you know because she wakes up and you know she pretty much got shot up with horse tranquilizer so she's gonna be fucked up for a while so it's gonna be interesting to see where that goes meanwhile we get some more secrets revealed and more backstory on ray as he thinks that you know uh chet is dead so he decides to make a confession we get this flashback to last year where he was a part of a frat and things went too crazy with the hazing the kid like pretty much fell down the fire stairs and he thought he was dead so he ended up taking his car over to over a cliff but he ended up waking up and he wasn't able to stop the car which i find really fucking crazy and you realize this is his character that he is known for being a coward and just running away from things and try to hide the uh hide things from people and just hide certain aspects of his life and this whole time he's been on the run and this is why he's at the place that he's at meanwhile he is able to get out of the cave and chet is still alive so he just dips on chet like a coward like i said he's just man it, it, i don't blame him because i do the same thing in this situation but damn like you know there's other ways to do it but anyways we got you know um montana xavier and trevor you know they're all trying to figure out what to do they so they head to this dock to go hide and because they think they're being followed by mr jingles so they go to hide in this dock and they find the real miss uh the real nurse rita and of course she can't shut the fuck up and mr jingles pretty much murks the shit out of her i feel bad because you know she just got caught up in some bullshit but this is america horror story you should know better and so everybody else leaves and they see what happened and they see that this is the real nurse rita so things are starting to really get crazy they know that now they gotta go find brooke because she is in danger she might be in danger um mr jingles hears somebody crying out and you think it's chet but you know xavier and trevor are able to find him able to get him out the hole out the hole you know and they find out that ray was the one that left them behind and so they hear mr jingles and they hide but then they see an opportunity to take him out because he's looking down at the hole, which they think this is Mr. Jingles, but R.I.P. to the dude that was talking to Mr. Jingles earlier in the episode gets pushed into this thing. And, you know, it's not even the killer that killed them. It's these people that killed them. So it's it's so many different, you know, um, interesting things going on in this episode. So then we get them all meeting up with Ray everybody's all together they need to find other people they need to find brooke uh margaret and the cook i forget her name i'm drawing a blank anyways trevor gives the keys to ray to take him and montana to get his bike so they could go get help while they stall for time pretty much and you already know watching this episode how ray's character is he's a coward and this plays into the ending which leaves a crazy crazy cliffhanger episode ends with montana and ray faced with the night stalker and you start to think like damn they're dead 
until Ray hops on a bike and just takes off, leaves Montana. But here's the interesting twist. It ends with Montana saying, why didn't you kill this bitch? And I'm like, damn, so she's in on it too. There's so many different elements to this whole entire episode that I find really, really crazy. And this is definitely my favorite episode so far. And we just got a few more episodes to go. Things are going to continue continuously get crazy as the season progresses. I'm wondering if everybody's kind of in on it and just has their different motives. Like everybody is influenced by this Mr. Jingles character. And I just like the overall, you know, theme of this season is going and it's not your typical slasher there's more to it like like i said earlier in this episode you have the character that is trying to figure this out based off science the one that's trying to deal with it with religion and there's just so many different elements that they're really introducing that i really enjoyed this episode what do you guys think about this episode in the comments below let me know did you like this episode let me know in the comments below and i'll check you all out next week peace